Hey babes, my name's Hannah. And I'm Cassidy. Welcome back to Bookish Babes. Today we kind of have a really cool video that we're gonna film for you guys. This was recommended to her by a friend. Um, we are going to be reading each other one star reviews of some of our favorite books. And, but we're gonna leave the character names, the, the book name, the author name out of it. And we're gonna try to guess what poor review like what book it goes along with. I think that <laughs> we're gonna be really it. bad at this. I, for I'm, the record. Yeah, I'm a little nervous because I, I really, I'm nervous that I'm not yeah. gonna be able to guess any of these. I think the first one, my first one that I have for you, you'll be able to guess. Okay. But I'm not convinced I'll be able to guess any of these. But I think it'll be funny. Because we love reading one star reviews <laughs> of our favorite books. It's like one of our favorite videos to film. Yeah. So this way we don't even know what book the other person is talking about. We have to try to guess by the poor review. And like sometimes the poor reviews have like so much information about yeah. the book and then sometimes there's nothing. It's like I think you left it that bad review because you didn't even finish it. Yeah, there's like nothing. Yeah, I'm also afraid I'm going to be a little offended. Yeah, me too. But like honestly, I just don't even. Yeah. I don't even anymore. Would you like to start? Okay, so let's see. I'm trying to decide which one I'm going to go with. Hang on. And just for reference, when there's any like character names, we're just gonna say like character one or character two or blank. And it, when it's the author's name, we're just gonna say author. So. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm gonna read you my first one. Perfect. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure that I don't say any of these things. Okay. <laughs> I am a very disappointed author. <laughs> this was not as good as your previous book slash thriller book title. I expected another crazy and disturbing story, and instead I found so boring and fetched. That's literally what it says. I'm not reading it wrong. So I'm trying to make fetch a thing. Too much family drama, annoying, and I didn't even read some whole chapters. I skipped paragraphs, lol. Besides, I didn't miss much. The characters are flat. I didn't connect with them. And that stupid ending. Seriously, author. You couldn't think of anything else? I laughed when I read the epilogue. <laughs> Finally, a silly one, that there's a stalker living in your house and you never realize it. No, well, just, just no. tell me what it was. <laughs> it's the wrong family. <laughs> and I kind of figured it was the wrong family when they were talking about family drama. I, I figured you yeah. might, the family drama might yeah. give it up. Yeah. I, my pro <laughs> My problem with this is I have a hard time reading the review. Yeah. So. <laughs> I disagree in a lot of ways. Um, I also didn't like it as much as I liked um, The Wives. But I also, I didn't, I did not like it as much as this girl did not like it. I love that you knew what the other one was. <laughs> <laughs> that, that also told me because I was like, who also wrote a really great thriller and then wrote a thriller after it? And I was like, it's probably Taryn Fisher. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so good job! You got the first one! <laughs> one point for Hannah. One we, point for Hannah! Are we doing points? Does yeah, I guess. Win? Oh, yeah, I mean, okay. I don't know. What do we win? <laughs> so this, we didn't get that far. I know, right? <laughs> this review is super, super, super long, so I'm gonna kind of skip around, but this one's gonna be a longer one. <clears throat> Ready? Yeah. I hated every single person in this book. book. Well, except for character. He can have me any day. But everyone else can die. I don't understand how you can make a fantastic, wonderful trilogy about love, friendship, healing, and everything beautiful in this world, and then come out with a disgusting, trashy, smutty romance that has absolutely no plot, shitty character growth, and an overall shitty book. Not to mention the cover. What the fuck is that anyway? An orange mask? A tiger? <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> I, don't think I knew it! <laughs> <laughs> but on a court of she, silver flame? She, yes, she ripped into this book. I mean, for like paragraphs, <laughs> she ripped into this book. Um, author, that we already know, took her perfectly developed characters and pretty much just let them rot. From the first three books, I loved every single person, everyone. Now, I hate Feyre, I hate Rhysand, I hate Cassian, I hate Amran, I hate Moore. For fuck's sake, I despise Elaine. Why is she a character? Why does she exist? <laughs> um... <laughs> What does she add to the book? What role does she play other than to collect people's sympathy and make them feel sorry for her? I'm sorry, not, but Elaine is a fucking idiot. I cannot stand this hoe. <laughs> Author, please write her death. I can't deal with her constant whining and bitching, running to 
I'm just gonna say their names, Reese and Cassian, and telling them she wants to go back to the human world just because <laughs> Nesta was being nasty. Elaine, you've been living with your sister your entire life and you choose now to complain about how much of a bitch she is? Where were you the past 18 years? Please, sweetie, grow a spine. <laughs> There's more. There's more, but I'll stop there. I mean... I don't entirely disagree with everything I, she I don't entirely to. disagree with some of but the I just stuff. Think you but should really read that review. She rips into the book. I mean, she's so butthurt about that book. Whoops, sis. Sorry, <laughs> sis. I just love the part about Elaine. Okay. <laughs> I knew the minute you were like, the first three. Okay. Are you ready? I am. Okay. There's a lot to this one, but I'm going to try to jump around here. Okay. I tried. Just like I tried with the other author's books. But seriously, I probably, I am the minority in this one. All of my friends have rated this five stars and I'm so confused. I hate cheating stories. I hate annoying and indecisive main characters. I hate girls that put other girls put down other girls. I hate it when girls are displayed as the damsel in distress. I hate it when girls are constantly emotional and the guys aren't because it isn't manly. All of this was in, all of that was in like, was in this. Wait, all of that was in this and I'm just so confused. Why does everyone like this so much? Firstly, character one, stop crying for five seconds please. I feel like her purpose in this novel was to ruin long-term relationships and to cry and, cry and cry and cry and cry and cry and cry. I started highlighting sometimes towards the end, but she cries a lot more in the beginning. Girl, how are you not dehydrated? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, hang on, hang on. I, I have a theory, but... Anyways, it was hate at first sight slash page with blank and I. She just immediately slut shames and calls people whores while judging them for no reason. And then, uh, hang on, cause I'm, I'm jump, she quotes a lot of things, so I'm trying to jump around here. Uh, I noticed a trend in author's books. She's constantly demeaning the women in her books that aren't the oh so perfect main character. I honestly do not understand the hype around her when her writing is extremely sexist. I don't even know what else to say about this. It was extremely sappy and cheesy and their conversations were so formal and forced. I honestly could not keep up with their, I just want to be together, give me some space. They were so irritating and I couldn't stand it for the entire book. So yeah, I'm part of the small group of people who hated this book, bye. Okay, so I had a theory but I don't think it's right because you said the small group of people. The book that I was thinking of a lot of people hate. I was thinking of The Summer I Turned Pretty, but I don't think it's that one. Nope. Because a lot of people hated that one. I don't know. Yeah. This one, I, I was really surprised. I don't know. Is it a Colleen Hoover book? Mm-hmm. Is it Verity? Nope. I don't know. It's maybe someday. That doesn't make any sense. I know. That's interesting. Because I don't feel like Ridge was not emotional at all. He was very emotional. Yeah. <laughs> but I guess if you don't like cheating story, but I don't think like I guess like they were all talking about cheating. I don't know. I need to reread it because yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't remember, remember the slut shaming. I, I don't remember the slut shaming, and I don't remember the crying and crying and crying and crying and crying. I do remember her being very emotional, but I don't think that she was overly emotional compared to the the male lead. Maybe, maybe I just need to reread it. It's been years since I read it. That's interesting. Yeah. I don't. Yeah, so I was like, oh, that's a. That's good. Yeah, I wouldn't have known that one. I was like, that's a, that's a doozy <laughs> right a there. Doozy. Let me, let me get that one. She really had a problem with that book. So this one, I'm going to be a little bit careful of how I read it. because I'm going to leave some things out because I feel like it's too obvious. Are you ready? I am ready. This was a complete waste of time. The obscenely poor writing drove me crazy. If it hadn't been a library book, there would have been several occasions where I would have thrown it across the room. 
author never took the time to set up the world we're reading about or give any sort of motivation to the character's choices slash actions. This was confusing and annoying. The lazy editing was incredibly distracting. I found at least four typos in the book. I didn't like a single character in this book. Was author, or sorry, was main character supposed to be endearing? Cute? If so, I disagree. She alternated between insufferable bitch and whiny adolescent. Was other character supposed to be sexy? Was other characters supposed to evoke sympathy? I think that was the intention, but I was just disgusted with them. I don't understand the devotion so many people seem to have to this author slash series. Needless to say, I will not be wasting any more time on the following books. Oh, I don't know. I left out a specific quote from the book because I felt like it would make it too obvious. Oh, I don't know. Only you rated five stars. Do you have any guesses? Court of Thorns and Roses. Mm -mm. Not a clue. Mm -mm. Not Anita clue. Blake. Really? Yeah. Yep. She really didn't like it. This was. These were like the full, uh, the actual um, quotes that she didn't like for whatever reason. I don't know. I've never read the book, so I don't know what it's from. Okay. See, I, di I didn't read the physical copy, so I was like, typos. Typo. Okay. Yeah. And these were the... She, was Anita Blake supposed to be endearing and was John Claude supposed to be sexy? Was Philip supposed to evoke sympathy? She had all these characters. She had problems with all these characters. Wow. So we're one for one each. <laughs> well, all right. I know. All right. I know. Okay, I get it. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you right? Mm hmm Super pissed this didn't work for me. I feel cheated. I read the blurb and everything. Ugh, I hate what happens. This known each... Oh, this known each other? Wait, okay. They at least type out your response there. correctly. Okay, this known each other since forever, and then we finally fall in love trope is usually a slam dunk for me. Also, my recent record with author has been superb, but this, ugh. It all really boi boils down to character one. I hated her. I really did. I tried, I tried not to, but was unsuccessful. I empathize with her losses. All of them sucked and sucked balls. No one should have to go through all that. I also realize that people handle loss in their own way. And when a person loses a parent at such a young age, it has a lasting impact on them and their trajectory of their development. I hand it to author on her characterization. It stays truly tonally throughout. I really don't know what that means. I, why can I not think of a single book that I've ever read where they lost their parent at a young age? The problem was, I did not like her. Okay. There are times to rein it in and bite your tongue, and then there are times when you need to put your big girl socks on and use your words. That's, uh, that's, that's bold. Okay. Okay. Use your words. Sure. You know, yeah. Communication is important. She's horrifically bad at using her words for someone who's perennially talking about words and reading words and asking other character what his favorite word is. Oh, I know what it is. All that talk escapes her in the bold I know moments it is. and it frustrates the bejeepers out of me. Yeah. It's love in other words. Yes. <laughs> it is. She goes on for a while. She can fuck off. I'm sorry. That was a good book. It was such a good book. I also read a lot of books where I don't like the main character and I still like the book. Yeah. I was like, why can I not think of a single book that I've ever read? I literally knew once I got to that sentence you were going to have it. Yeah. And Because I guess I forgot. Like, it's been so long since I've read that book and I'm it's like, oh my god, the mom died. <laughs> Sorry, oh spoilers, but... <laughs> oh my god. That's right. Um. Okay, this one. This one is not... You gave it five stars. I also rated it pretty high. It's not like one of your all-time favorites though, but I thought the review was interesting. Whether it's Instagram or Goodreads, this book has been coming to my view all over the place for months. Since the novel was so hyped, the cover looked cute, and with all the five-star reviews, I thought it would surely be a great read. I was expecting a lot, but alas, it just fell flat. There is nothing to love about these characters, and there is no plot in this book. 
I almost wish I had read chapters that had to do with the present because the flashbacks did not add enough value to the story. That's why I skip a lot of pages to get to the end. If anyone who is really interested in reading this novel don't believe, don't believe the hype. Although this writer is new to me, but seeing the type of writing, I realize the author can write very well. And I know good writing is not an easy task, so I'm still interested in their next book. My rating, one star for writing skill only. Flashbacks, huh? Yeah. You said I rated it five stars? You rated it five stars. I think I gave it four, but I still really liked it. I think, definitely think about the fact that it's it was very hyped. It was like hyped all over Instagram and TikTok. Do you know how many books are hyped all over there? I know. I'm trying to think of which one jumps back and forth. Mm -hmm. Um, it's not a Terran book. Mm -hmm. It's not a Colleen book. Mm -hmm. Let me know when you want me to tell you. Yeah, what is it? It's people we meet on vacation. <gasps> Emily Henry. Yeah. I love Emily Henry. They apparently like the author too, just not that book. It was a good book. I thought it was a good book too. It was really good. Yeah. I felt like there was a lot of plot. There was a lot of plot. Mm -hmm. um, flashbacks were fine. I don't remember the flashbacks as much. But I feel like they definitely added to the story. Yeah. Yeah. The start of their friendship. Beach Read I liked better. Mm -hmm. I never read Beach Read. Beach Read's good. You yeah. should read that one. She's got another one coming out. So yeah, that one. I like it too. Whatever. Because <laughs> so I was scrolling through your red books and I'm like, I want to find ones that she rated five stars. And I saw that one. Whatever. <laughs> okay. You and I both loved this one. Okay. A lot of people did not. Okay. There were some things I found disturbing about the main character. Specifically when she started sounding like an apologist. And the story became rambling and kind of boring for a thriller with way too many repetitive internal monologues, an issue I've had before with this author. Overall, I would give the story two stars, but I've got to deduct a star for the narration. Looking back, it was not surprising that my favorite audiobook by this author was narrated by someone else. Also, that's kind of a complaint about the narration. Too. I know. Was I it was... Verity? Mm -mm. Was it The Wives? Nope. There's another one that we did a bookish battle on, though. I don't remember. No? No. Mother, may I? Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. I didn't feel like there was a, all that many inner monologues. No, I didn't think so either. And I didn't, when she started sounding like an apologist. Yeah, apologists about what? I don't know. Oh, maybe the husband? But I don't think she was necessarily an apologist about that. She very much did not enjoy that. She just didn't have a lot of self-respect to leave the relationship. That girl did it for her. That girl took him out. Yeah. Did it for her. Yeah. I mean. Mm -hmm. Got it done. She did it. Okay. It's another, you gave it five stars, I gave it four. One star. You know when even one star feels too generous? Yeah, that's me right now. <laughs> Someone please explain to me why everyone hates character. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't like the guy either, but I perfectly understand the cause of his actions. Did he ever promise other character true love or any other shit? You know what it is? Car sounds really? No. No? Um, no, he offered fucking with no attachments and no sentimental bullshit and that's exactly what he delivered. Ugly love. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. You can continue. She goes off. I... Yeah, I'm just gonna say the actual names now, now that we know. Yeah. Um, I don't see what the problem is here. I despise Colleen Hoover for romanticizing this kind of behavior. Like, once I get him to sleep with me, I can trick him into talking to me. Or maybe if we fuck daily, he'll eventually fall in love with me. Are you fucking That's kidding me? That's not even what Tate was I doing! No, 
Am I the only one who can't stand women like this? Please, self-respect, you need some in your life. Trust me when I say I really wanted to like this. It started out great, but after 70 pages, everything went downhill. I feel like there was lots going on at once, but none of it was original. I've read better. Broding jackass meets goody-goody. Step-siblings messing around. No strings attached sex. Despite, despite its unoriginality, I could have... She's saying all those things were better? No, she said that, oh, that was all, like, involved. But she's read better of those of those like three tropes. Tate, who I hate with a passion, she ruined this entire book for me. Man, I don't think I've ever read a character this stupid or exasperating before, this is why I liked it. <laughs> Sarah J Mass characters are included. <laughs> so this girl has a problem with Sarah J Mass too. And I read my share of idiotic characters. Was I supposed to be on her side? Was I supposed to feel bad for me for her? I s could clearly see why Miles sees her nothing more than a good fuck. She has no respect for herself. I feel nothing for her and Miles as a couple or fuck buddies. The sex scenes were extremely boring and tedious. I pretty much skipped most of their parts, which is the entire book, sadly. I was so fed up with her bullshit. And then she went on to say, like, for me, it was always Rachel and Miles. I was always looking forward to the flashbacks. The reason I didn't, didn't DNF this is because I wanted, I was so hooked on where's Rachel or what did you do to Rachel Miles. I hated the ending. You ready? Yeah. I couldn't get into this book. I finished it, but didn't like any of the characters. If this was a horror movie, I would be rooting for the bad guy, the killer, the zombie, etc. To me, the characters got what they deserved, and I was glad when the book ended, as I had ran out of care. <laughs> That's it? That's it. I don't know. That doesn't give any details. That's because every single one star for this book gave way too many details. Oh. They ran out of care. Mm -hmm. They wanted the care. Was it Twilight? No. Oh. I can I can read you another one. Hang on. Let me read you another one, and you'll know exactly what it is. Okay. Because every other one, I was like, she's going to know the minute I read this. Was it Akatar? Mm -hmm. hmm. No, we both loved this one. Okay. But hang on. Let me get you the one short. There were, some of them were funny, though. Just another day, just another boring book with a twist scene a mile away. This book is a dumpster fire. It's obvious to anyone who has a brain that this book is based off the story of Dee Dee and Gypsy Rose Blanchard. Get some original <laughs> material next time, yep. hey? There it was. <laughs> there it was. There it was. It's Darling Rose Gold. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so that was the only one that I could find that didn't have wow. something mentioned. I'm surprised. I guess, like, I don't know. Do they really even read it? Because... If this one's a horror movie, I would be rooting for the bad guy. That's the whole point, is they're both shitty characters. Yes. Like, tell me you don't get it without telling me you don't. You <laughs> exactly. just don't, you can't read complex just, books, I'm sorry. Yeah. It, you just <clears throat> have to have a happy ending, I guess. Because, yeah. What, you weren't supposed to use this one. I'm going to have to blur out a lot of character names. Okay. Character is nothing more than a shell used to push the story along. She has no discerning personality and everyone around her exists for one of three reasons. To be her lover, to cause her turmoil, to, or to betray her. It's a poorly placed story with little to no description of anything. Flooded with dialogue that sounds like it came from someone much younger than author. I t to talk about everything that I despise in this book would spoil almost the entire plot. I could go on for an hour about every little plot point or character I hate in this book, but I will attempt to make this digestible and tackle things that annoy me most and most often. And then she goes on, but I can't read any of this because this is all exactly what the book is about. Author takes serious themes like miscarriage and completely glasses over the consequences, something that like that would have on a person and absolutely fails to provide any sort of empathy for the real people who deal with this like a Hollywood director using a rape scene to push a plot along. Once again, everybody deals with trauma differently, so you can't blame the character for dealing with a trauma different than you did. She glorifies a toxic relationship, and when that relationship is finally finished, um, oh, none of this makes any sense. Not through um, character realizing that the relationship is abusive, but via other character betraying her. Um, Instead of her having some sort of growth as a person, it's just because author needs to be rid of him so, to shoehorn in an LGBTQ plus relationship at the very end.
Do we keep reading more? It's longer. Not to mention the relationship is lacking in any real emotional connection between the characters. And this is made up for mentioning how often a character is having sex with whoever she happens to be laying with at the time. Nobody in this book has a believable personality or a feel real. That doesn't make any sense. They are all simply pawns to move main character along um, because her own personality is so lacking. She literally has no motivation to do anything other than sit around and hope something else will come along and push her to do something. This is another one that we both loved. I have no idea. Let me tell you. Yes, I'm so lost. The Witch's Heart. I fucking knew it. I did, I did, but one of the things you said really confused me, and I was like, wait a minute. I don't know, I thought you said something that really, con I got confused. And I was like, oh, oh, it can't be. When you said need need to be rid of him to shoehorn in, a relationship with you. I was like, it's gotta be the witch's heart. But then I was like, no, that doesn't make any sense. Damn it. I had it. You did. I did. That's why I try to at least make a guess. I haven't even been keeping track of how many we've gotten. Whatever. Right I've gotten like none. I, got, <laughs> I think like, I got one. I think I got two. Yeah. Well, that was fun. We will definitely film another one of those because that was interesting. That was. That was interesting. Yeah. I'm so surprised you didn't put a Twilight review in there. I purposely didn't. <laughs> okay. Because I'm like, we have done that. <laughs> we have done that. I love that though. The videos where we read the one star reviews, it's never not funny to me. It's it's always, yeah. always funny. This was fun though, trying to guess them. Mm -hmm. Although... And we did just as poorly as we thought we were yeah, going to do. It, it's, yeah. It's not easy. Especially without, you know, we obviously tried to leave out. I wish I had left out that part about the cover of Silver Flames because I think I could have gotten farther into the review without you guessing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I was pretty sure I had it, yeah. but the the mask definitely for sure. Yeah. Gave me it. Who the fuck is the cover? A, a mask? A lion? <laughs> a tiger. What? <laughs> a tiger. So comment down below and let us know what you thought. Hit that like button and subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when we post next. Thanks. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.